This video details the basic steps for using interactive embedded components in Maple. During the course of this video, dialog boxes will appear with comments to help guide the lesson. Embedded components are simple graphical interface components that you embed into a Maple document. You can associate actions with some of these components, which are performed when the component is selected or altered. Components are entered using the components palette, found on the left side of the Maple window. Open the palette by clicking on the triangle. You can see the various components available here. Let's create a simple plotting example. Once finished, you will be able to enter an expression into a mathematical expression component, click a button, and see the plot of the expression in a plot component. You can enter components from the toolbar by dragging them into your document. You can right-click on any component to see its properties. You can view and change various properties here, including the name of the component. The component name is used when extracting or setting values, so it is good practice to change the default name to something more meaningful. You can also change the size of a displayed component. For the button, you probably won't be referring to its name, so there is no need to change that. However, you will want to change the text on the button. You can program in steps to be performed when the button is clicked. Click Edit and you can enter your steps. The do command, introduced in Maple, lets you retrieve or store values in component attributes. The do command is part of the document tools package. In order to have access to commands in this package, the code must be placed inside the use documents block, after the use statement, and before the end use statement. This command is used to retrieve the expression from the math component plot input. Inside a call to the do command, a percentage sign before the name of a component refers to the value of that component. In this case, the math expression entered in the component. Next, edit the command so that the math component expression is plotted, and set the x-axis range from 0 to 10. Finally, set the new plot as the value of the plot component. Component values are set using equals inside the call to the do command. You can now type in a math expression in X and plot it. 